Hey everybody, this is another video of the awesome cool trailer thingy that I'm building, yeah. So, all right, we got everything all hooked up. I'm in the process of working on the wiring. And we're gonna have to uh, set it up with one of these circular plugs. And that's what goes on the back of the uh, trailer here. Uh, what's on the trailer now is this little plug-in, little standard generic plug-in. I gotta cut that off. Oh, see the sticker of awesomeness? That's right, right there. All right, uh, I've decided. Oh, here, let me show you what I did with the gate. All right, so this is what I did. I just took a piece of angle iron. I was going to put both of them in, but I decided not to. Uh, I took a piece of angle iron and welded it on the outside so it kind of fits in there. Got to paint that all up. And then over here, I stuck in this pin that holds the gate in. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Might rattle a little bit when we're going down the road. Yeah, yeah. All right. And I took, see that right there? I took some chain links and cut them out. Then I have a bar welded down there a round bar welded. See how that works? So it's enough to catch it and then so that way it doesn't go up onto the trailer either. So we're gonna get this thing set up here quick and we're gonna start up Cody's go-kart. We're gonna have Allie drive it up onto the trailer to test this thing out. Some of you guys out there are wondering, I still need to shorten up those chains. Uh, I did it. See? Wasn't that big of a deal, was it? <laughs> I had to be confident in myself. Yeah. The red button. Okay guys, well we're gonna try to put the Batmobile up on there now. And we've got the ramps positioned a little wider than the front tires because the rear tires are about that wide. So hopefully we're going to be able to get this thing pulled up here and we're going to have Allie recording so you guys will be able to see this. like it worked pretty well. I'm gonna have to get some expanded steel in there. Do something. Yeah. I might need to make these things a little bit wider. Yeah, that was a little uh, little scary. Because the front tires literally had to go up on the inside rims of these things. Oh yeah. Yeah, I wonder what people are gonna think when they see this going down the road. Well, we were going to pull up uh, Cody's go-kart up onto here, but uh, his, his uh, gas cable broke, so I'm going to have to fix that. It doesn't look like the uh, springs on the axle has gone down much. Of course, the Batmobile is only uh, 900 pounds. Blah. I'm going to put the camera down, and I'm going to get on the trailer and bounce up and down a little bit. You're going to see how this thing's going to work. Yeah, well, 
looks like it's gonna work all right guys side to side movement yeah that's pretty cool well uh, one of you guys had suggested that I should uh, try to find some washing machines and stuff and use that kind of white paneling. If you guys remembered that parts washer that I used that dryer in uh, the sink for, well, I tried to do that. Well, I started taking it apart and I realized I wasn't even gonna have nearly enough surface area and I'd have to cut all this, all this stuff apart and put each panel in each hole individually. I was like, nah, that's just too much bull. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down and try to find some, uh, well, maybe steel, maybe it's gonna be, some plastic, I don't know. I've been looking into plastic. Might be able to get my hands on some uh, uh, like eighth inch nylon sheet or something like that. Something that can be cut down and we'll be able to put the uh, stickers on. But like I said, you guys want your stickers up, contact Steiny Sulphur City Design on Facebook. I'll leave a link down in the description. If you guys want to build a trailer, just like this awesome one, not just like this awesome one, because you know, I, I did my own thing kind of on this. So, and keep in mind that if you're building a trailer and you want to get yourself a kit, you contact Bill over there on trailerplans.com and he'll send you a kit. And if you live here in the US and you get free shipping to a commercial property, and then you'll get a free set of uh, plans for free. So, yeah. You ain't gonna find that deal anywhere. That's the shit right there. So guys, I'm gonna get on out of here. I got a bunch of other stuff to do with this thing. I still gotta hook up the lights, adjust the chain. See, look at that. Oh yeah, way too much chain there. And then once I get the full screen machine completely done, that doesn't really leave me too much room left on the back of this thing, does it? But keep in mind that once I get the expanded steel in right there, Jesus, can you see that? Damn bee lands right on my finger. But once I get the expanded steel in there, I'll be able to pull the Batmobile forward safer and then put the uh, full screen machine back here. It's going to be a tight fit, guys. It's going to be tight. So, you guys, I'm going to get on out of here. I'm going to edit this video. And I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and all my new viewers. Hi, guys. How's it going? Drink one for me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. To Nikki Tesla who got that cold shoulder To people on the street who play dead and roll over I can feel your struggle each day I grow older Feel drunk off the pain and just wanna go sober Closer to this world is now becoming evident Half of its residents think that they have a sense Speaking in the past, not living in the present